What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video. Today we're going to be doing a low-level contest to mayor's walkthrough for the City Star. Now this one's going to be a little bit different of a walkthrough than what you guys are used to. We had two players this week that were in my group that were also in the same uh, contest to mayor's league. And they both experienced reverse rotation. So that kind of proves the theory that if you're in reverse rotation, then likely everybody on your leaderboard is also in reverse rotation. That being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of compare both of their weeks side by side. But first, we're going to go through his week because there were several mistakes made. This player, I did not help one on one. I didn't view their uh, choices until after the week was basically over. But the other player, I was helping one on one. So things went a little bit differently. And now a lot of times you guys don't really see a whole lot of walkthroughs with reverse rotation because it doesn't happen often. And when it does, most of the time people give up, get frustrated, or they don't try to, to learn, you know, what's supposed to be done. So hopefully this will teach you guys a little bit more about it. That way you guys are prepared when it does happen. Before we begin, hit that like and subscribe button. Join us on Facebook at SimCity Build It, Missy Ann YT. We also have, uh, what was I going to say? We have like one spot open right now in the group, but you guys can always hit me up on Facebook and see, you know, if even if it says we're full, sometimes we have feeders and stuff in the group. So you guys just hit me up and see if we have a spot. All right. Okay. So he prepped feed, lawn chairs, ladders, corn, rolls, tables, paint caps, and glue. A lot of people have been asking me about comp prep for low-level players. I have a video coming out about that, so be sure to check that out. But in the, for the meantime, you guys, just prep anything that is uh, something you might get an assignment for or that takes a decent amount of time to complete. Okay, so there were a few mistakes made on his task assessment. We'll go through that. Setting the scene, basically this player is level 24, he has no room on his experience bar remaining, and he's in Mega. Okay, so uh, he's not going to be doing upgrades, right? So the idea for low-level players is to stack up all their upgrades in their main list. That way they can safely do the streaks and then pick up where they left off. Okay, so the first one is a premium assignment. Premium being that it can be worth up to 3,000 points. Right now, he has it marked premium cancel. That is correct. Now, the thing that, you know, we need to make a mental note of here is that he does have a upgrade in the starting streak. You do not cancel upgrades in the starting streak right away because you have a high chance of them coming back with another upgrade. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have as many upgrades in your main list as possible and or within the first 20 to 25 assignments that way it has enough time to come back in the main list you don't want to cancel it now with all these avail you know available upgrades that are able to come back in the next one is a premium he marked it high premium but it's premium uh war upgrade war disaster that is a main task main task being that it's 2,000 points or higher then we have a non-premium, meaning it cannot be worth up to 3,000 points. And it, he has marked it no touch cancel. That is correct. So he either will not touch it for the duration of the contest or he will have to cancel depending on how his week goes. He has a premium main uh, Tokyo delivery. Premium rotatable wood, rotatable being below 2,000 points. Premium rotatable bricks. Non-premium, last resort, rotatable coins. This task is only done uh, just before the streaks to secure any long factory productions or unsecured upgrades, or if you're in reverse rotation. Non-premium, last resort, rotatable on the uh, repair. That is the same concept as the coins, and uh, it would be done during reverse rotation at this value. We would mark it last resort rotatable. If it is above 1,200 points, we mark it rotatable because it's holding one of our good place values. Non-premium uh, monster, no touch. We don't do this one at this value. Non-premium war booster, 
uh, rotatable, limited time, that is correct, it can only be done during war. Then we have a premium rotatable on the uh, VU, non-premium, no touch design challenge, and a non-premium, he put rotatable on the Epic. I usually have people mark it last resort rotatable, but you don't do it before the streaks. You basically, what, what it means is you want to try to avoid it at this value. Uh, but if you need to do it, you should do it within the first 20 to 25 assignments of the week. That way you don't run the risk of it coming back in the streaks and you hitting a 12 hour downtime. So starting with the uh, first obvious choice here, we're going to go with the work hard disaster. Okay, so now he gets an 800 Paris. Now at this point, we know we have the upgrade in the streaks, right? So we wouldn't want to cancel any upgrades until we've dealt with the one at least in the streaks. So canceling the uh, regular residential is not a good option right now. So we would obviously go to our next highest, which would be the Tokyo, right? That's premium, good value. Now he gets a 3000 Paris. So we do have upgrades rolling in. It's at the, the value of 3000, which is not a good thing, but it is what it is. So now he has wood for 1620, but he has feed prepped. We don't want to throw out all that wood for, you know, uh, one, one task right now when we have bricks for only just a few points lower. So bricks would be what I would do. Okay. He gets another upgrade to roll in. Again, not a good sign, uh, but at least this one's below the maximum value point. That one is a high premium. Now, canceling right now would, again, not be advised, especially since upgrades are continuing to roll in. So looking at you know, this list here. He doesn't really have a whole lot of options. He can go with the war booster, um, given that, you know, he can try to get these upgrades to roll in so that he can get that streak canceled so he can get these other things canceled when the time comes. That's what I would do. I would have went with the war booster because we've already got, you know, the design challenge one at the bottom. We got the one in the streaks and we really can't cancel the uh, upgrade residential, the Paris, the old town. We can't cancel anything until we've dealt with the streaks, right? So with upgrades rolling in, it really doesn't make sense to cancel the streak just yet. Now, I would not have picked up all that wood for, um, you know, I, I wouldn't, or I would not have picked up all that feed to do wood. I would have done the war booster to try to get that taken care of. So now he's got delivery to Tokyo. Now he gets a 1000 uh, spatula. Okay. And he does VU. I, I really don't know why, because it's clearly obvious that he has to one cancel a streak and he has to cancel in the main list sooner rather than later. Right. Would, would always be ideal. So this brings less uh, risk of an upgrade. It's not impossible, but less risk of an upgrade. Whereas War Booster has a high chance of bringing in an upgrade, which is kind of what we want to go for here so we can get these things canceled. So he does that and he gets a 2,000 nails. Okay, now he gets an 1,800 corn. Okay. 3,000 War Disaster, 3,000 uh, VU. See, but now here's the problem. He has all these things rolling in with all these upgrades still here. And we're just kind of burning through our assignments in our safe zone where we can cancel. So now he's got cement. Okay, so now he hits minerals for 1400. Back down to his rotatable assignments. Now he does war booster. Okay, so now he gets caps for 1400. So there is his VU for 3000. Common war attack, delivery to Tokyo. Okay, so now the, the Latin has rolled in. So now we've got Latin, London. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I would not have canceled. Okay, because here's the problem. He's going to cancel. Why? Why did he cancel? Because he had 
Let's see here. So the rules for canceling is to have at least four upgrades in your list and or be, uh, within the first 20 to 25 assignments. Right now, what does he run the risk of? Even though he has a bunch of upgrades in his list, what does he run the risk of? He runs the risk of it being replaced with an upgrade. It just came in. So given that he's only 17 assignments in and several of them have been replaced with upgrades, it's not like, oh, yeah, okay, I've got four uh, upgrades in my list. So even though there's a high risk of it popping up in the streaks, I think now is a good time to cancel. He should have rotated a little bit more uh, to ensure that he was not going to immediately get an upgrade. You know, he just rotated out that war booster. He just got an upgrade in, and now he's going to cancel. That runs a very, very high risk. So he cancels his streak, does minerals. Gets upgrade war card, does that, and now he gets an upgrade in the streak. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You know, that is a big deal. You already had to lose one streak. Now he's looking at having to lose two streaks. Not to mention two assignments because of the cancellations. So, now he cancels it immediately again. After just getting an upgrade. He could have taken it down five more tasks. So the, the, the whole way that he's rotating his assignments with the, uh, the VU being done before that war booster was a major issue. He didn't get the upgrade until he rotated in the war booster, right? Because he rotated in the VU before the booster, he was able to get several assignments done at decent value, but the problem with that is that he is now in this position. If he would have done the war booster first, got all this taken care of, got his cancellation done, and then he would have been able to open up his VU door and work, uh, you know, basically a, a lot better off. But now he's in this situation where you kind of have to wait for an opportunity to present itself to rotate in the war booster, which he did and now he's got this problem so now he immediately cancels the streak rotates in spatulas i really honestly don't know why uh he didn't go with the cement now he gets upgrade war disaster gold keys so now he does cement so now he's 23 assignments in he's got at least two streaks that are gone Several upgrades in his list that are at pretty decent value. So at least now it's secured with the VU, right? Um, he's got a launch legendary, which would be the obvious choice, right? Now he gets a 720 on ladders. So at this point, he has to kind of figure out what he's going to do now. So he's got a really bad average. He's not technically in reverse rotation. Not right now. He's still getting good value to Simons. They're just ones that he cannot do. That is not reverse rotation. Not yet, anyway. So, at this point, he has to decide now. Does he need to cancel or doesn't he? So, looking at his list as a whole. Let's go back. Okay, hold on. Looking for a full. Okay, so here. Epic, not really a good doorway. Design challenge, not really a good doorway. Uh, monster, no touch. The repair and, and coins is a last resort rotatable. Then we have the upgrade uh, residential. Paris. Latin. Cement and then the keys. So basically, he has nothing going for him. In other words, he has basically two doorways, which would be the ladders and the cement. And he has way too many assignments that he has to do before he can even think of starting streaks. Now, given that he's already lost two of the streaks, it would be better for him to pay a little bit more attention to how to get these done, uh, you know, to secure the ones that he does have. That's what's most important right now. 
So given that he's at 35 assignments, this would be the like absolute last point that he could cancel safely. Um, I wouldn't have done it, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'll explain why. I know why he did it, because he's thinking, you know, how am I going to do all the rest of these assignments? But here's the thing. Yes, streaks are important, but he already lost two of them. And that is a huge deal, right? Given that he's already lost two streaks, I would have worked the cement doorway and the possibly the, the ladder doorway let's say five, six assignments. Now he's close enough, he can start rotating in the, uh, the keys, the repair and the coins or whatever. Get the streaks done. I don't think it's a good idea to cancel and take another hit on his score. He's already canceled twice and he's already lost two streaks. So canceling now to open a better doorway opportunity really doesn't make any sense given that He's already lost so much already, and he has these upgrades rolling in pretty rapidly. So I wouldn't have done it. I would have just tried to make it work with the doorways that he has. So that cancellation I would consider a big mistake. So now he does cargo for 1,200, uh, gets metal for 1,700. Now he gets a launch specific war attack for 1,400. That's a low algorithm assignment. So. Yeah, I would have got that done. So now he gets the Latin back. Okay, now, yeah, okay, at least it's worth the lower value. But as you can see, that cancellation, in terms of opportunity, didn't do him any good. It's, a, it's a back. It just came right back. Granted, like I said, at least it came in with a low value. But in these circumstances, with all that's been lost with the two streaks and the other two cancellations, was it really that beneficial? You know, um, no, I would say it wasn't worth it. Okay, so now, he, oh, I guess he has a Paris doorway too. I didn't notice that. Okay, so now uh, he goes with ladders. Honestly, I don't really know why. I would have done Paris given that it hasn't been touched yet. It's 80 points higher. And the doorways that he's working are not exactly being good to him. So now he gets... Launch attack in Club Wars, which would make this the next obvious choice because, you know, if he doesn't do it now, he may not be able to do it at all. I mean, it has to be done during war. So now I believe he's falling into kind of a reverse rotation kind of deal. No matter what he does, it's kind of giving him garbage. Um, so he's, or downtime for now is what I would consider it downtime. So now he's got uh, hammers for 720. He goes with Paris, and he gets uh, 600 on glue. Okay. So he does the hammers. Now, at this point, I wouldn't have done this either. So at this point, you have to look at what... He's eight tasks before he can think about starting streaks. This is the perfect time to start rotating in his last resort rotatables and start thinking about you know, getting all these upgrades in so that he can at least safely do the, the other streak. So I would have went with coins, okay, because it's the highest, and it usually comes back within uh, two to six rotations, whereas repair and keys usually come back within, like, two to four rotations. And they're double the points than the hammers. So he's taking all these point hits on his score that he really doesn't need to take, to try to open up this better opportunity that clearly isn't happening. So now he gets uh, delivery to Tokyo for a thousand. So now he does the coins, okay? And he gets tables. Now he does keys, gets London, does repair, gets saps. So ideally what we want to have happen here is we want to at least get the upgrades. I mean, to I don't remember how many he has. How many does he have he's got? One, two, three, four, five. So he needs two more. So yeah, he's just going to have to keep rotating these doors until he gets these other upgrades to roll in. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Pair. London. Coins. Pair. Eh, falling into a cable. Okay, well, at least you secure glass. So at this point, I think I would, uh, and this is a very risky move, but it seems that it may need to be done. I would have attempted the VU to break the cycle and tried this um, technique where you, you attempt the streak assignment and then you go back to the main list hoping to break the cycle so that upgrades start rolling in. It's very risky because an upgrade could pop up immediately after the VU. But in this case, I mean, he's at 70,000 points and he's already lost two streaks. So if he is going to not be able to uh, complete them, like what, what you don't want to have happen is him sit here, take hits on his score like 600 cargo and, and 720 on hammers, getting him all the way down to a point where he has no assignments left that he can rotate and then have to do all of his streaks with a high risk and then end up either having to fail the streak, cancel it, or whatever the case may be, and that'll be even more of a risk or hit on his score. So now he gets... I don't know why he did that. I would have done the repair. Okay, so now he starts streaks without both of those secured anyways. See what I'm saying? Chems. So now he goes back. Well, at least he secured sugar. And Tex. Okay. Feed, veggies, melon, repair, Paris, London, or whatever, you get the point. Feed, Tokyo, smoothies, and he ended with 132,000. Okay, now we're going to go to the other person's week. Give me just a second here. Okay, so this person has... Uh, Donuts at 2200 in the streaks. They have a non premium, you marked that wrong, non premium on the mountain at main task value, non premium on the design challenge, main task value, and it would be considered no touch or no touch cancel. Then we have a uh, premium rotatable on the war deliveries, premium no touch on the chems. Non-premium last resort rotatable coins. Premium no, or okay, that should be high premium no touch on the old town. Non-premium last resort rotatable on Epic. Non-premium rotatable cargo. Premium rotatable uh, VU. Non-premium no touch monster. Non-premium rotatable war booster. Premium rotatable shoes. Okay. Starting with the first obvious choice, which would be the highest uh, valued assignment. Expand mountain. Now he gets repair for 1200. So doesn't make sense to cancel, right? So we're going to go with our next highest. That would be the war deliveries, it's got good opportunity, it's premium, it's limited time. That would be the next obvious choice. Now he gets a premium 3K London delivery. That is replaced with a 1K Tokyo delivery. So looking at the rest of this list, he's got uh, basically no touch, no touch, no touch, no touch, no touch, no touch can't see the bottom of his list. I hate... You got... Okay. You need to submit more bottom screenshots for these walkthroughs. So he's got 
uh, cargo, VU, war booster, shoes. Cargo, VU, war booster, shoes. I'm trying to remember that. So here, he immediately goes for the delivery to Tokyo. I would not have done that. It just came in for 1,000 points. It costs uh, cash, which isn't a big deal. It'll need to be done at some point. But given that it just came in for 1,000, you would want to move lower down on the list, which I would have went with um, the VU, you know, given that it has a lower risk of an upgrade than, let's say, War Booster. Actually, no, he had car did he have cargo for 1,200? I think he did. Yeah, okay, I would have went with the cargo. Now, he gets, hang on. So he does that, he gets 1,000 on the tables. Now he does the cargo, okay. So now he gets 1,320 on hammers. And this is where I, what I don't understand. I have absolutely no clue what the hell he's doing here. He marked it last resort rotatable. He knows it's a last resort rotatable. We're 54 assignments remaining. This would be the very last thing he would do. We know this task is just going to come right back, right? So he does that. He gets cargo back for 600. Now he does VU when he should have done hammers. He gets Paris. Now he does the hammers. And he gets sugar. Okay, so at least it's there with a the low value. Now, he just had a upgrade roll in recently so rotating the war booster was not needed it was not anywhere near war being over uh i would have went with the tables so he does that he gets delivery to london for a thousand so he, now he does tables and he gets the coins back we knew that those were coming back around anyway so now it's looking like he might start falling into reverse rotation given that everything he's been doing has just been pretty much trash right Okay, so now he goes with London for 1,000, gets Paris for 800. So looking at the bottom of his list, he's got shoes and cargo. So he goes with, or yeah, and Epic. So he goes with Epic for 1,200, because if you're going to do it, you know, you want to do it sooner rather than later. And in this case, it was pretty much needed to be done. Uh, 48 tasks remaining. He's got the VU again for 1,000. So now he goes with the cancellation on the design challenge. Gets keys for 1,200. Now here I don't really understand. Um, I can't remember if this was... I believe he, yeah, he's falling into reverse rotation. So we're going with uh, rotating these things out. So we rotated out the Epic. We're rotating in the keys the repair, any last resort rotatables, because here's the thing. You have two options when you're in reverse rotation. You either rotate your premiums for 1,000 and just keep rotating in 1,000 point assignments that have the possibility of becoming worth more, or you rotate in your like 1,200 to you know 2,000 point non-premiums with the higher algorithm and obtain a slightly higher average without having to burn through all of your premium options. So now he gets a uh, upgrade residential for 800. So now we go with coins because like I said, we've pretty much diagnosed that he's in reverse rotation. So it only makes sense, right? So now he gets the minerals and we go with the launch VU because it's been a while since we've done that. He gets repair for 1,200. He went with minerals. Now he's got the epic there for 800 points. So he went with shoes. London. He gets a London upgrade. So then repair. Tokyo. So at this point, I told him his main goal is going to be to stack up as many upgrades as he can, as fast as he can, get through the streaks. Because here's the thing. In this case, when you've diagnosed reverse rotation, 
he could sit here and try to open up opportunity that we know is not going to happen. When you're in reverse rotation, that's it. You don't get good opportunity. So what becomes the motive? The motive is to what? Get your highest valued assignments done. That would be value over opportunity, right? Well, when you have to worry about the streaks, you can't really play that way. You can't do things like chems or sugar at 1300 because you have to worry about the streaks. So the goal here is that we need to get the streaks out of the way and get as many points available from the streaks. And then we can worry about value over opportunity because we don't have to worry about the streaks anymore. If we can get the streaks done, then he can do the stupid things like sugar for 1300 and, and chems for 1300. You see what I'm saying? So now he goes with Paris, gets his other upgrades. We've got one, two, three, four. Okay. At that portion of the list, I believe we have one more down below. Now he's got cargo, coins. There's his uh, design challenge. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so yeah, he had all seven upgrades now. All seven upgrades, he's got glass secured, sugar secured, chem secured. So at this point, we're at 36 tasks remaining. That's 15 assignments before streaks that we would normally start the streaks. But in this case, we can't do the glass before the streaks. That would be foolish, right? We know that we're in reverse rotation. So we're going to start the streaks now, get through them as quickly as possible. And that way we can sit here because we know that opportunity isn't going to happen. And we can do value over opportunity. So he's got donuts, repair, VU, repair, shoes, feed, cargo, keys, uh, watches, Paris, keys, Minerals, coins, feed. That was the third time on the feed, I think. Uh, corn, Paris, lawn chairs, London, planks, VU, cargo. Okay, now he's finished with streaks. He's got two days, 13 hours remaining. So now he can do value over opportunity. It doesn't make sense to cancel any upgrades at this point because why? I mean, why take a, a hit on his score that we know isn't going to matter? So he does that and he gets keys for 1200. Well, we're doing value over opportunity. So we're going to go with chems, repair, co uh, keys. Now he can do sugar. Now here I don't know what he was doing. He should have went with... Uh, repair but I think what had happened was he was at the end of war and he knew he wasn't going to get another war so if he ended up in a situation where he doesn't rotate this then he wouldn't have another opportunity to rotate it and it's one of his only doorways that's the only thing I can think of so now he gets to the point where he has 15 tickets remaining okay uh his opponent had about uh I believe like 15,000 more points than him so he would have to run just over a 1k average to pass first place which was the person that you saw before this which isn't really that hard to do considering now he can do value over opportunity he doesn't have to worry about opportunity so he went with flower now he went with the monster for a thousand uh 1400 on melon 1800 on the tables 2,000 repair, 3,000 London, 3,000 Tokyo, 2,400 on the um, rolls, 1,500 monster, and he ended with 133.80, right? That's where he was going to stop. I told him to keep going uh, to secure first place. So he got feed, 3,000 VU. I don't know... Okay, so it looks like somebody had passed him with 8,000 points. So now he has Monster for 2,000, London for 2,000. So now he ended just shy of like 2,000 points on first place. He did really, really well. Okay, this was a, a unique week, you guys. Reverse rotation is something that it really 
confuses people. The reason that I named it reverse rotation is because you're basically doing the opposite of what you would do on a normal week. In this case, you have to think about the future. You have to think about, you know, futuristically, where is this list going to go and what are my best options? What's the best route that I can take to earn the most points? What is most important here? In Star's case, he should have focused a little bit more on, uh, you know, the way he was canceling and the risks and and all that. So you guys both, you know, it. I usually don't go too hard on people when they screw up in reverse rotation because it's not an easy thing to learn. It's also not something that you deal with a whole lot. So it's you don't have many opportunities to learn it. Now, hopefully that helped you guys kind of understand the goal during reverse rotation. And that is, you know, each week is different and it's unique. You have to kind of weigh out your options when you're looking at any situation. Like, for example, normally we wouldn't do the monster when you go back to where he, where was he? When he had the monster for a thousand here, normally we wouldn't do that, right? But this isn't a normal week. So weighing out his options, he knew that, you know, we're not going for opportunity. And the whole point in not rotating the monster is what? To bring in better opportunity. This is a different kind of week. So in this case, with him not having very many assignments left anyways, it being his highest, he had to pay like 40 cash or something to bring it in, but it was, it, you know, it was worth it in the long run. And it opened up some decent stuff for him and he was able to get that done. Unfortunately, he was just shy of 2,000 points of winning, but it is what it is. So, either way, he still did really well this week, uh, given the circumstances. So, anytime you guys think you have a chance at winning, you should use all your tickets. Um, in this case, you know, both of them obviously thought that they would win. And that's why they did. But either way, they at least got the big prize. So. All right. Good luck next week. If you guys want me to grade your choices, you'll have to submit them for review. Just make sure that the albums are, you know, organized and that there's top and bottom screenshots.